The Prime Minister reopened Ukraine's Canadian embassy Sunday. The flag flying in Kiev is symbolic, but it's real. The Ukrainian-Canadian Congress was glad to see Justin Trudeau, the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Affairs Minister in Ukraine, but not impressed it's taking Canada so long to bring Ukrainians here on chartered flights. It's been one month since the Prime Minister promised to do just that, along with temporary hotel stays and income support. It's on the verge of an unacceptable delay. Uh, you know, there's planes flying out of Warsaw, Berlin, Paris, uh, Rome every day. Concerns uh, echoed by the opposition. The, the government was inefficient with the uh, Afghans, and uh, we see the same thing with the, the Ukrainians. It's a big failure from this government uh, to the, the, those people who, who wants to come here uh, and who already have their visa to come here, but they don't have the money to get in the, to a plane. I mean, this is ridiculous. Conservatives want that visa requirement waived and chartered flights faster. We want a concrete plan. We want a concrete timeline from the minister. I really understand and appreciate all those people uh, who want things to move faster and we want it to move faster as well. No flight timeline from the transport minister who continues to blame logistical challenges. We're coordinating where everyone is and who wants to come and so, so we can facilitate the departure points and landing points. Somehow the province of Newfoundland and Labrador was able to work through the challenges. The first government chartered flight full of Ukrainians arrives in St. John's Monday evening. We asked the federal transport minister about the province's success, but he did not directly comment. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.